Oh, hi. This is uh, the first time I come on um, YouTube uh, concerning this subject. Uh, the subject is uh, the Watchtower and Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, I've learned so many things uh, while I was uh, a Jehovah's Witness. I've been, I was a Jehovah's Witness for 43 years. Um, I followed the instructions. I did everything like a little soldier. I um, I lived my life uh, the way it was um, uh, recommended. Uh, I grew up my kids in the Watchtower Society and the instructions and all that, attending meetings, going on service, preaching, knocking on doors. At times uh, throughout my life, I was a pioneer and and so on. Um, when the internet um, was readily available, I started to do a lot of research concerning the Watchtower. Uh, in fact, I attended a meeting in the uh, Long Beach um, Aquarium or Arena, uh, and where uh, one of the speakers uh, mentioned that uh, we should be very careful as to uh, not allow our children, our kids, to be in the internet. Uh, they said it was bad, it was detrimental, and so many things. And I took upon myself uh, as a curiosity subject uh, to use the internet and see what good things I could find. Um, however, I found, well, good things for me, but bad things for the Watchtower Society because uh, many of the hidden things that the Watchtower hides are in there. Um, you know, uh, false uh, information, um, uh, speeches uh, that were given back in Ohio back in the 1917s uh, concerning the uh, the books, uh, those seven books. I can't remember the uh, title of the seven books, but um, where uh, what, what was it? J. J. G. Woodworth gave a speech in, the, in an assembly uh, in Ohio back in 1917, I think, um, where he, um, in his speech to the, at the assembly, he mentions that um, a lot of the things that were revealed in those books were uh, because they used to do seance, seances uh, together and they used to call on demons and spirits to be um, given information as to uh, God's purpose and uh, he said that even if it came well Charles T. Russell said that uh, information that could be used could even be brought, brought or acquired from demons and that it was the truth um, in, in the reports that I read as many um, they weren't called Jehovah's Witnesses back then I think it was Bible students international Bible students they wrote to uh, um, the Watchtower, uh, and they um, and they made a complaint against uh, this man, Woodworth, uh, quoting the what he had said in the assembly that it was uh, information from those books were from demons and all that. Uh, Charles Chase Russell turned around and expel all those that were uh, complaining uh, about this information. Uh, so the books were left like that and preaching continued. A lot of information was being preached. Um, uh, today I ask many of uh, the witnesses if they know about Charles Chase Russell that he used to um, bring out a lot of things that have to do with uh, pyramidology. He believed in the pyramids. Uh, he he brought out um, 1914 as being the time when Christ was going to be ruling as a king in heaven, which was not true. It was just uh, signs of the end of time, though, which were uh, already established in the book of uh, Matthew 24. Jesus Christ said, all these things will be happening throughout the earth. 
Now, he didn't give a specific day or date or year concerning uh, the end. Uh, so we passed through many years, uh, even after uh, both wars, World War One and Two, and uh, we're still here. We're still at the end. I mean, you know, seeing all these uh, events. I mean, we're having bad uh, politics in the U.S. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the the both parties are at odds within each other, and uh, they want to overthrow our current president, Trump. You know, I, I don't mix in, in politics. However, uh, I think those are signs of the times. Um, I do not agree with uh, many of the Watchtower uh, teachings, which means that uh, the blood transfusion is one big major factor for me. My wife recently passed away in April of 2019, this year. Uh, she had cancer and it was operable and uh, they uh, she refused a blood transfusion and she um, was given four months but we helped her with the help uh, of hemp to live up to 15 months um, pain-free by using hemp, hemp uh, oil, um, Rick Simpson's Phoenix Tears. Um, even at that, the many of the people in the uh, organization, the congregation, they were against uh, uh, hemp being used on her, uh, which I didn't care at this point. I had already uh, sent uh, a letter to the Watchtower uh, resigning. I left uh, willingly. I said I did not want to be part of them. Uh, I could not take the lies that they had spread throughout the, the years. They've been preaching the end coming ever since the 1800s. They've been giving the same years over and over and over uh, as the end of the, the end coming. So 1975, uh, I was a young man in high school preaching that the end was coming. I was telling all my friends uh, at school that the end is coming. I was a uh, zealous, zealous um, Jehovah's Witness um, preaching, going out of uh, downtown LA and early in the morning, and all those things were happening. So I was being misguided by this organization which they still do they still do misguide everybody else they they make you believe that the end is coming and all these things now i do believe that jehovah is god i do believe that jesus christ is god in the new testament christ himself says no one comes to the father except through me so, the Watchtower brainwashes everybody that no one can come to, no one can come, uh, not that they can't come, but that Jesus Christ is one, the Son, that's the only thing we need to know, that He's the Son, and we pray straight to Jehovah. Again, I have much respect for Jehovah God, but if He indicated that we need to consider Jesus Christ as the only one that we will be able to reach Jehovah, then the focus here has to be Jesus Christ. And I don't want to say it because I'm a Christian or pointing out to other Christian denominations, but you know what? They are right. The Bible is clear. We cannot change those things. Jesus Christ is the, the uh, way by which we get into uh, in Jehovah's favor. Um, my my daughter disassociated me. I have eight children. One of them is a Jehovah's Witness that will not leave. She no longer talks to me. And it's been, I don't know, five, six years that I left the organization. Um, and I wrote to the society and all that. And she decided not to be uh, associated with me in any which way. Um, I told her, you know, daughter, it's going to take you at least 40, 45 years uh, before you learn the truth. And the truth is that the Watchtower is a liar. And uh, you've wasted your time uh, preaching and trying to teach other people about the organization and Jesus Christ and Jehovah and all this stuff. Uh, because they want people, they want force, they want... Um, humans to go preaching making more money for them now 
I won't mention this. The Watchtower Society, uh, at this point, I cannot remember the name of the um, organization that's used by the U.S. government to manufacture uh, rockets. Rockets that uh, they use in warships and all over. Anyway, uh, two Jehovah's Witnesses uh, scientists created a, a, an engine made out of uh, clay. It's a motor uh, for uh, jet propulsion and they use this motor in rockets. That's what um, impels the uh, rockets. Um, uh, you know, to launch launch the, the rockets. The Watchtower Society uh, owns half of the um, what's it called? Um, stocks uh, of this uh, organization and it's a uh, organization that the US government uses for um, making uh, rockets and engines and all that. Um, I can't remember it, but when I do find it, I will put it on the bottom of my video. Uh, and uh, all this preaching about saving people and the, and the world and and waiting for God and all this stuff is not true. The Watchtower is part of the system. They are in the ammunition uh, business of, of making weapons. If you don't know this, research it. Um, I'm trying hard to remember the name of, uh, of this, uh, but it's well known, it's well known. If you want, uh, re research um, Watchtower on, um, on Google Images. Google Images, you can, um, uh, you can research and it'll give you all that information um, as to their being involved in this. Um, so, uh, how can you be a Jehovah's Witness uh, believing that you are working for your salvation um, by God when the new, or new world order comes in? Now, let me tell you this. The Bible, the, the Watchtower uses, it's a copy of a, a Catholic priest uh, that wrote his own translation of the New World Translation, the Bible, uh, and his name is uh, Johannes Grever. Look it up on, uh, on Google Images. Uh, he had this Bible, and when when we were involved in coming to the uh, organization back in 1969, they were coming up with the New World Translation. They made uh, a little uh, green... Um, a real thin green uh, Bible or New Testament and then later they made the entire Bible the Old and New Testament together in the green Bible well that green Bible is a copy of uh, Johannes Greber's uh, Bible you can also find that information on Google Images and look up uh, his name and look up uh, the Watchtower Society it'll show you that the Watchtower uh, ask him if they could use that Bible and as a copy of the Watchtower Society Bible and the Watchtower never made a translation by themselves. It's a copy of Johannes Greber's Bible. Uh, Johannes Greber uh, was an, an ex-priest, Catholic, Catholic priest who left uh, being a priest and he became a Satanist, a worship, worshiper of Satan. And he made his own religion, just like um, um, that guy uh, Howard something. I forget right now. Uh, for the Scientologists, um, and and uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, the Watchtower, they are very much involved in in the occult and Satanism and a lot of the things that they have. If you visit the Watchtower. Um, uh, society in, in New York you will see that they have a lot of images uh, statues and all this stuff they all have to do with the occult uh, look up uh, information of um, Jehovah's Witnesses people that have been involved uh, with the Watchtower 
and their uh, sons or, uh, or daughters uh, have been, uh, you know, given service to the Watchtower, but they find information uh, concerning all these things. Uh, in the past, uh, the images that they used to use for showing the the paradise, um, all the photos and drawings that they looked like they're actually drawings, but they're actually draw, uh, photos that were uh, drawn like cartoons. They they have a woman that is constantly appearing on the watchtower or the awake. I think it's the awake. Um, this woman was. Uh, the lover of one of the um, people in the Watchtower in France and she was a prostitute and they kept uh, using her as a model because she was beautiful that just reminds me of the story of of the picture of Jesus Christ that is famous worldwide back in the time of uh, Leonardo da Vinci they use a homosexual man to draw an image of Jesus Christ and that's who that person is. The image of Jesus Christ that everybody knows is a homosexual of the time of the Renaissance, back in the, the time of uh, the, the popes and the Spanish popes and all the stuff, and during the time of uh, uh, you know um, Leonardo da Vinci and all the other famous artists. And uh, so there's a lot of hidden information that the Watchtower Society uh, has that uh, when you start hearing that they ban or they stop people from using the internet to research the, the watchtower they don't want you uncovering any of the bad ugliness of the watchtower uh, watchtower as a matter of fact if you look in the bible there's no thing no place in the bible that it uses the word watchtower other than if it's talking about a certain uh, citadel or something like that where they're, they're Roman soldiers and there's a watchtower or something but the name watchtower again go back to Google Images and write watchtower and it'll give you an image of a uh, uh, a deity that has three watchtowers on the head a female and the front of the female has a lot of boobs I don't want to use that word but it's true you look it up and it is called the Watchtower. That is where the name Watchtower comes from. From that uh, pagan deity. And look it up. You will find a lot of information in relationship to uh, the Watchtower organization. It is a pagan organization using the word of God to deceive humans worldwide, nationwide. The name New World Translation, the only thing they did is instead of using New World Order, they used, they, they changed it to translation. So the Bible itself is a Masonic uh, title to that Bible. The Watchtower, there is a uh, video which was removed, but there is a book by uh, by uh, Fritz uh, Springdale yeah Fritz Springdale uh, I'm sorry Springmeyer Fritz Springmeyer he wrote a book called Watchtower, The Watchtower Society and the Masons and he um, links the Masons together with the Watchtower and you will see all the information the book is um, on Amazon you can get it on Amazon on eBay but there is a video um, on that title and the video is six hours long and it gives you the beginnings of the Watchtower by uh, Charles Taylor Russell and his father and how they came about in and in their relationship to the um, Adventist religion uh, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't call the Adventist religion Seven Day Adventists, but I, I assume it's the same one, with the name uh, Barber, who Charles Taze Russell associated himself, and uh, and this Barber man uh, had all the dates of when the end was coming, and that's where Charles Taze Russell borrowed all that information 